What's up everyone, Dapper here, we're back playing some more Marble World! Today we're making a 2D marble run in a 3D game. Also, if you like today's video, please consider subscribing, so you can stay up to date for when I post new videos. Anyway, let's jump right in. So I have this little test area set up over here. And as you can see, when we spawn the marbles, the marbles can't pass each other by jumping in front. And that's because I placed like this decoration. So this way they don't have enough room to kind of pass in front of each other or uh, uh, and on the front plane, you, you know what I mean. So they can only pass each other by jumping over one another. So we're gonna have them come down here and possibly go to the right. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this yet, but I am gonna continue this idea of just blocking the marbles from having much room throughout the whole course. So we're gonna make a 2D marble run. Uh, this also means I'm gonna have to create a lot of passing opportunities uh, vertically. So we're gonna have maybe a lot of jumps in here. Otherwise, whatever marbles in the lead is probably gonna stay there. So I'm also gonna do this with 15 marbles. That way we have one of each color because we are gonna make this a race. So I'm gonna set it up for something like this. Also, I am going to be making this invisible later. Uh, I just made it transparent so you can see what's going on. I kind of want to set up a marble mixer to start off. I'm going to move this for now, and I'm actually going to place some boosters in here so we can get like a like a mixer going on. Because I want to make this like RNG, it is, as RNG as possible. So I think I'm going to do something like this. Okay, so I've made a marble mixer here, and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> I've also gave the marbles a little less gravity. That way, uh, we have a little more verticality to them, so we can kind of boost them and send them to different areas. But I'm not really happy with this mixer. It kind of leaves a lot of marbles up in the sky, and it just looks bad. <laughs> so I think I'm going to redo this. All right, there we go. So I hit all the boosters inside the track piece here, but as you can see, it mixes them up pretty well, and if we open the gate, they all kind of flow out. So that's perfect. Now that we got the spawner all set up, it's time to start making a track. And I think the first thing I'm gonna try is using these guys. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. Actually, I'm going to test it with the marble spinning. All right, so we have a marble mixer, and then we release them, and away they go. And not away they go. <laughs> okay, so the 0.1 gravity might not work as I was hoping it would, which is fine. We could just turn it up a little bit. Okay, so it's time to test the start of this race. I've got this beginning area set up. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn the marbles now. I changed the gravity to one just to see how it would act and I'm gonna set them down now. All right, so it's looking pretty good. So now I just need to add some more stuff onto this. So I'm gonna move this down. I really want this to look like a picture, you know? Like a picture frame that you can kind of put up on the wall and just have marbles around. I don't think there's any space on the, maybe over there. I think I'm going to add some kind of way for the marbles to overtake each other on this next turn. All right, so I've added these little boost areas. I just want to see how the marbles react to them. Okay, so one marble overtook. That's good. Okay, so I have this little race set up so far, and now I'm going to do a little test. So I'm just going to throw the marbles in, kind of see what happens. Alright, they all make it through, which is good, but they almost got stuck here, so I think I need to add a couple more boosters. Alright, so I kind of want to do something crazy over here. Uh, maybe not too crazy, but I'm thinking maybe like having a marble motor? Possibly? 
maybe having the marbles drop down, spin around, and shoot out, oh, and then kind of get over over here somewhere. Uh, that's the idea, anyway. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna start throwing something together. Okay, so I made this area down here. The marbles are almost here where I paused it, so I'm gonna see if this works. Nope. <laughs> nope, not really. Alright, so I definitely need some more boost here, so let's turn all of these up. That works. Uh, I'm just gonna bump them up to 16, hoping they get through here a little bit faster. Let's try that again. Okay, so that works pretty darn well, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, perfect. Now I gotta continue over here. So I'm gonna get rid of this so it's easier to work on. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I guess we gotta go back up. <laughs> All right, time to test if this works. Uh, I guess my idea here is just to hopefully have them go up pretty quickly, hit this, and bounce over. That's probably not going to happen. They're literally just going to go back here, aren't they? I just want to see how this reacts, though, at the same time, even though I know this isn't... Okay, kind of works. I like this zone a lot because it really mixes the marbles up, so whoever was in first might not be in first after they get to this point. Okay, so this kind of works. Kind of. Um, I am going to attempt something else. Okay, I think I'm going to rework this area. I was hoping I could get marbles to bounce over here, bounce here, and then maybe start bouncing up. But that actually didn't go as planned. So I think I'm just going to get marbles to get over there, bounce over here, and then maybe take a path to shoot them faster. Okay, so this area works, but it is too inconsistent, I think. So I need to make some changes here. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. But as you can see, the marbles just kind of trickle up here. They get up here one at a time very slowly. So whatever marble gets through here first is basically probably going to win the whole course. Or has a very high chance to because as you can see how inconsistent this is so i am going to make a few changes to this uh, i don't know what yet but i think i am going to redo this area All right, guys, so this is what I've been building for a while now. I did a lot of it off camera, <laughs> kind of accidentally. I forgot to hit the record button. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm at right now. Uh, I just need to close it in because a lot of them will fall out. So let me do that real quick. All right, it is now all closed in. Time to send the marbles down. 
I love this area down here. It's so cool that it jumbles them up. Anyway, so this is what it's looking like now. And basically I'm gonna do like a snake pass here where it's gonna go up and down and then kind of come up and then we'll start back at the top and then we'll go back down doing something else. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this and uh, see what it turns into. Okay, that looks pretty good, but I am going to delete some of this. I think I went over a little too far. Okay, something like that. That looks good. Um, I'm going to take this and kind of close this area off. I might not do that later. I don't know why, but for some reason, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know, it looks weird. I don't know why it looks weird, but it looks weird. Anyway, the whole thing looks weird, but that little thing bothers me for some reason. This is uh, one heck of an elevator. It's not even really an elevator. It's just, you know, a ton of boosters just to get the marbles back up. So, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Maybe the marbles will jump up into here. I probably need to put something here to get them in. And we could do a couple of these. That'll progressively get a little higher, bring them over here, and then we can head back down. Which, we'll probably do a few more things in this area, but we'll probably end the race right around here. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing this for quite a few hours now. This is not as easy as it looks. Okay, so it still doesn't work as anticipated, but... Well, maybe it does. Sometimes the marbles miss and they have to go around. It's pretty much what I wanted, but it still gets stuck. Luckily, these are just repeating right now, so I can get a good look at it. And I guess if it gets stuck at any point, I'll continue to mess with it, but it looks to be working. Oh, there it goes. Getting a little stuck. Okay, we need a redesign. Okay, so it still gets stuck a little bit, but it works a lot better than before. So the marbles miss and have to go around the circle sometimes, which is really good. Because I'm really trying to make uh, contraptions that'll mix up the marbles a little better. Making it a more competitive race. So that way when uh, one marble is in front, it doesn't mean it will stay in front. So, this works good enough. Now I'm going to add another one of these, and I'm basically just going to copy paste it over. That looks pretty good. Hopefully this works. Gonna make a couple adjustments here to make it a smoother transition. All right, I'm about to test the newest addition here. Let's see if it works. Just like lava makes it through, green. Okay, and they were all pretty much there at the same time, which is basically what I want for this race. I definitely want it to be competitive. So, this is good. Uh, now, it is time to continue the track going back down, and then we can put an ending on it. Okay, so we are almost done. I'm putting this last area, just a bunch of physics in there, just so the marbles can kind of get hung up. Hopefully it'll create some kind of competitiveness. 
Hopefully the marbles in the back will have a chance to maybe jump out front. Who knows? I'm just going to kind of throw this together. Whoops. And we're going to put an ending on the race. So almost done here. Then I got to go back and paint it and then we can run the race. All right. So I'm hoping this gap is perfect for first, second and third. I am going to test it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the track is complete. I decided to color it rainbow just because, you know, I never really make my tracks rainbow colored. So here it is. It is finally done. I actually haven't tested it yet, but uh, <laughs> hopefully it all works because uh, we're going to run the race right now. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn the marbles in. So go ahead and pick your favorite marble. Pick what color you think is going to win. Where's rainbow? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we are now going to start the race in three, two, one. The marbles are away. It looks like we have white in the lead currently. Let's see if white can hold this lead. Still going strong. The marbles are getting a little stuck back there, but hopefully they can make it through. It looks like purple or mag is that magenta? Magenta's out in the lead right now. What is going to happen? Looks like they both magenta and yellow messed up back there, but magenta did hold the lead. They are cruising pretty quick through here. Looks like yellow is getting stuck as well as white, but look at that. They sneak in. 